Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Tabitha Elkins and today is part two of our coronavirus home edition. Today I'm going to talk about some good news, some bad news and some funny news regarding the coronavirus. 2020, what a crazy year. We've already had fire in Australia, and floods, terror attacks, storms, locusts in East Africa, war in Syria, and now coronavirus pandemic, and it looks like there may be another Great Depression. 2020 is definitely trying to kill us. I've been freaking out a little bit, but before we get into everything that's bad, let's talk about maybe is there something positive we can get out of this? Well, it's in times like these that we really learn about who we are, what our values are. We have finally started to realize which people are truly important. It's not the bankers, it's not the celebrities, it's the ordinary people who do everything they can to help others, the doctors, the nurses, the EMS workers, the truck drivers who bring us our goods, the ladies at the cash register who work day and night so that we can get what we need. These are our real heroes. We also learn to appreciate things like family and friendship and our freedom, things that we usually take for granted. Money and career and all those things aren't as important as we thought they were. Here in Germany, they closed down the borders to keep out people with coronavirus. And now, those farm laborers from Eastern Europe aren't coming. So, uh, one funny tweet was, Oh shit, the foreigners are giving us our jobs back after all. Well, maybe the invisible hand of the market should harvest the asparagus then. America now is first in the number of cases of Corona. I'm sure that that's not exactly what he meant when he said America first. And um, well, Trump didn't want to call it the coronavirus. He wanted to call it the China virus. Whatever he wanted to call it, it's, uh, it's a big mess. So, here are some of the funniest tweets about Donald Trump. One tweet was, who would have thought we'd see the best disaster movie of all time and find out we're in the cast? Well, you wanted a reality show host as a president? Well, now you're on Survivor. But on a bright note, Trump is really happy that he's getting great ratings. He writes, because the ratings of my news conferences, etc. are so high, bachelor finale Monday night football type numbers, according to the New York Times, the lamestream media is going crazy. Well, I don't know. Maybe Trump is going crazy. First he said it was a hoax, then he said it was totally under control. Then he said, well, it's just 15 people, it will soon be close to zero, and now it's more than 100,000 and rising. So, things are really bad in the United States. This is not really something to joke about. Uh, I've been trying to keep it light, but I have to admit that I am quite worried about this. The good news is that there are competent people as governors. For example, Andrew Cuomo in New York is doing a really good job of mobilizing equipment and helping people. I have some tips for you. I've got my list of books to read during the coronavirus. I've got The Steppenwolf. I'm reading this in German. George Harrison's Biography, I Me, mean Mine, which I'm reading in English. There are also some free offers that you can do. This is not a promotional video. I'm just giving you some free tips of things that you can do while you are quarantined. 
TV Now is uh, now offering live streams for free. Amazon has free ebooks on offer. Um, here's a great offer. Epic Games is offering every week three free games. Ubisoft is now offering Child of Light to be downloaded for free as well. So now for some health tips. First of all, remember to eat lots of red cabbage because it will help you keep up your immune system. And if people get too close, you can always fart to make them get away from you. Another tip for your immune system, I recommend Echinacea. This will strengthen your immune system. If you're feeling nervous or stressed out, you can get lavender with B vitamins. I recommend this. Uh, coenzyme Q10 with B vitamins. It's also great. I've got Baldrian and hops. And last but not least, in Germany you can get cannabis oil tea. And you get this at the local pharmacy, the chemists, as they say in England. And it only costs um, 5 euros for a box of tea. And that will definitely help you sleep peacefully at night, especially if you're being driven crazy by the non-stop coronavirus coverage. So, I'm not buying any DVDs on Amazon. I'm getting my DVDs on eBay. This way I am supporting the small business person with a small DVD business. So, that was my coronavirus update. So, thanks for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe.